Good morning Ayush and good morning to all our viewers from whichever corner of the world you are watching this game. It's a clash between Nepal and Namibia where Nepal has to win this game. After Namibia lost to Netherlands yesterday, the game's wide open. And as always, it'll be the home captain Rohit who will be spinning the coin. Tail is the call. JJ, you've won the toss. What have you decided? Uh, we've decided we're going to have a ball first. Anil Kumar Shah replacing Kushal Vrtel. Here is Trampleman. Sent back. Run, he conceded. Ah, takes the veil off the first wicket. For the Namibian side, and it's Congo. You could just see the delivery, just nip back in to Asif Sheikh. Not an ideal start for Nepal. Let's have a look into that replay. He was trying to flick it down the leg side, maybe a thin inside edge, straight onto the stumps. Not a very convincing delivery, I must say, but it nipped back in. This time coming down the track and sassing the ball. That's the first boundary for Nepal ball move much and with that is the hundredth boundary in this t20i series would you believe it we are just in the fourth game ayush so well absolutely he had a good run in the prime minister's cup then after that he was made part of the canadian side from that perform oh this time a sort of land delivery pulls it the ball went sailing over the roof rope and that's a first six in this so here is Dublin. Goes over the top, straight bat, same result, consecutive sixes. Look at that, made room for himself on his knees. Banks, he goes over the top, clears the boundary. Six runs. He snows this condition pretty well. Once again, offering that room to Rohit Kumar Porel. A oh, beautiful placement out there. A beautiful placement. This time coming down the track, oh, not the shot that Rohit would have wanted, but a good thinking approach from the Brussels as well. You could see he just pulled that length a bit back. The David and today getting a wicket of the skipper of Nepal, Rohit Kumar Podel. This time just playing with that straight bat. And get that boundary. That was a good effort from the fielder as well. But hitting those magnificent two boundaries. And he's doing a fine job. He, at the meantime, Gulshan Kumar Chad decided to go over the top. That ball was in the air till eternity. Cleared the boundary by miles. A great, great shot. A 67 tournament six. This was a massive, massive hit. Went miles up in there. Wayne Engelbridge gave him that freedom to go. Oh, this is a good shot. Straight. Onto the side screen. Love to eat in the spin has been brought up straight away. Goes up again. Result the same. Gulshan Jha is not gonna hold back. He will play shot. Came back, scored a 50 and a 100 against yeah. Canada. Massive appeal. And Barrett sees his finger. Two minds we thought Vinay Kumar Jha was in, but eventually decided that there was a tickle off the bat and straight into the hands of the keeper. Absolutely, the misery continues. Wicket of the last ball wanted to wink that ball over the top. Anil Shah departed for a well made 23 of 17 deliveries. He'll be bowling to Gulchan Jha now. It'll be interesting to see whether Gulchan changes his approach or not. He doesn't. He absolutely doesn't and J.J. Smith will only watch the ball fly over him. Humongous hit. Gulshan Jha is in the mood today. The fall of wicket doesn't have any impact whatsoever on Gulshan Jha. Look at that six, the 70th six. Oh, he's gone after it again. Oh, finger raised. Was an easy decision this time, Gulshan Jha. After smacking that six, he wanted to get everything out of the park. This was a touch fuller, and he wanted to. He wanted to play that. Empire thought that the ball would have kissed the leg stump, and eventually raised his finger. Blisters against him. So a great lesson being learned this time around. Kushal Malla said enough went over the top sailed over that mid wicket region for a massive six if this partnership stays a brilliantly 
done uppercut for a boundary. Arif Sheikh finally breaks the shackle. Vicious. Oh, Kushal Malla, vintage Kushal Malla. Just over Jesus Smith this time, but six nevertheless. Have been contrasting kind of innings of these two. Kushal Malla, the aggressor, Arif Sheikh, who, who didn't the strike well. Oh, this is gone again. Pulled. And when Kushal Malla pulls them, the ball stays outside the ground. A massive hit. Have you seen Kushal Malla go over the mid wicket zone? Look at that shot. Stand and deliver, just rocks back into that back foot. And you'll have to credit Arif Sheikh for his innings of 17 of 17. He's taken singles, he has rotated the strike. Oh, and Kushal Malla has done this consistently enough. That nearly stuck us in the commentary box. And the hallmark of this partnership, only four dot deliveries in the last four overs. Comes down the track, misfield. And the ball will eventually win the race. He's helped Nepal build a partnership, 66. Reverse it. Keeper misses it as well. Lucky runs for Nepal. Partnership, Arif Sikh being the anchor role. Kushal Malla being the aggressor. Arif Sheikh trying to play that unorthodox shot would get that result. You can hold on if you want to go to the restroom because this is going to be a very exciting finish here into you International Cricket Ground. Off she goes, full toss delivery, straight back, over the bowler's head, starts with a boundary. With that boundary, Kushal Malla gets the first 50 of the tournament for himself. This time, that was a gift. He glasses into it. There's a fielder. Oh, a good boundary line catch. He got that elevation but could not get the distance. That was a gift, Kiran. But a much needed wicket for the Namibian side. You could just look at it, a full toss delivery. Arif Sheikh was trying to go over that mid wicket reason. Could not get that connection in the lower end of the bat and a brilliant catch there. Dipendra Singh Airi now needs to take Nepal to that respectable score. Once again, the delivery this time. Look at that wrist movement. Look at that bottom hand coming into play. Look at that flow of the bat. Just coming in. This time, Dipendra Singh Airi going over that mid off reason. There's no fielder out there in long gone. It was, I guess he was not intending to go over there. Namibia would love to resist Nepal below that 180 mark. And for that, this over of Sikongo would be crucial. Gets that wicket straight into the block hole. And the finger goes up. This is what we're talking about. Sikongo has been the economical bowler. He was just trying to go for that block hole and gets that important wicket of Dipendra Singh Airi. I need to go over that 180 mark, but look at this delivery from Sikongo. Look at that wrist moment. Kiran, we're talking from the first over, just nipping back into Dipendra Singh Airi in the air. And the finger grows up. The much, much, much needed wicket. This time going straight down the ground, there's a fielder out there, but it would easily clear the rope. Nevertheless, a much needed six for Nepal. Once again, lower full toss. And this time, the previous delivery cleared lofty Eaton, but not this time. One of the celebrated actresses of her time, a great actress from Nepal, Sharmila Mullah. And it is for a reason. So just five deliveries to go. Shompal Kamian strike to Trumpleman. Goes over the top. The ball has gone high up in the air. The fielder is chasing it. Great effort, but couldn't just grab the ball in time. Lucky for Sompal Kami. Sompal Kami has not been able to find the middle of the bat the way he would have liked to. Again, chipped up in the air. The ball's way up in the sky. The fielder is there, takes it safely. Another wicket, Perry says, Trumpleman is doing a fine job for his side. So after those 20 overs, Nepal have put a respectable, a fighting 180 runs on the board for the loss of 8 wicket and what an innings. So this is a must, must win game for Nepal. The crowd completely behind them and what... The Namibians need to do here is understand that the target is not that high like that of yesterday. Short, pulled, boundary. Nine runs of the first over. One game against Nepal and Nepal hasn't been able to register any wins. This time around, shot of length delivery in the air. 
completely mistimed it. Gulchan Zha just grabs the ball happily and the roar in the crowd soars once again. Well, Sompal has heard you and said, no mate, you are wrong. He didn't have to do much. And that's the first wicket down. Kruger has been dismissed by Sompal Kami. He wanted that wicket. The motions there. Yorkers as well. Very strong off his arms. If you go on to cut him. There's a chance of the ball coming in and the ball dislodging the stumps. June this year. Slashes this hard. Hasn't timed it perfectly. Almost a miscued shot. The ball will roll to the boundary. Interesting area. He varies his pace beautifully. He varies his length. Always creates a doubt in batter's mind. Full toss on offer this time around and the batter of Kodze's caliber will not miss onto that. Beautifully balled. He did toss the bat. Deflected off his bat into the stumps. The bells got dislodged. And Lingen has to make a run back to his pavilion. Tried to defend it. He did get his bat into the ball. But look at that. Off to his pads. Into the stumps. The bell just fell. Second wicket perishes. As a batter, you'll always be frustrated for that, isn't it? You did all the hard work and the fortune goes the other way. With offer, thank you so much, says Koje Hamudiet. So the interesting thing, Ayush, is both the Pacers for Nepal have got wicket finally. Nepal have been trying their level best, but the Pacers were not capitalized. This time around, beautifully timed shot, crashed it between that point. So Rohit Paudel showing full faith in Sompal giving him his third over. Yes, and the finger goes up. The plan has worked. The medium pacers break this partnership. Who else? It's Sompal Kami. He's, in lo he's looking in rhythm today. That's a good sign for the Nepali side at the moment. Namibia in a bit of bother. Look at that delivery wide outside of with offer. Just the thin is straight to keeper's gloves. I was talking about that. The Pacers have done a good job. Well, the plan is paid off. He is gone for 25 of 22 deliveries. On the other hand, JJ Smith, he has got a big role to play because they've already lost their three wickets. This time, just flicks it. There's no protection out there in the deep square leg. He'll get that opening boundary for. That has been the fanaticism for cricket in this country. They love their cricket. They love their cricketers. Oh, uh, that's gone past the fielder at fine leg. A boundary after quite a while. Well, they're studying in cricket ground. Wow, what a sight. Yes, we get you. You are hard-working students who can enjoy cricket and study at the same time. A, almost a copy of the previous shot. Exact imitation of what happened in the previous delivery. Sompal drifting in line. He's not get. He's not has that pace. He's just consistently balling in his good areas. Uh, this one has flown all the way against the runner play. But this could end up getting some wickets. A oh, hammer towards the offside this time. A four followed by that six. Prath is overcompensating that line. He was onto the pads. A ball before against JJ Smith. This time he was wide. Freedom to swing his arms, which is on the higher side in this format of the game. Uh, they have decided to go after Patis GC. There's a chase again, another boundary, an expensive over this. 17 comes off it. They're, they will be out of the context, contest in the series. Uh, this is very, very ordinary stuff. He also has this variation of a good slow delivery, Avnash Bora. But tries the Yorker again. The batter knew that the fielder was inside the circle. You will be hit for runs. And that's what exactly happened. Didn't get the block hole. The consistency that we're talking about, the current run rate that they are approaching. All right on the slot. Heaved away. And the ball will land outside the ground. They cannot allow Namibia to go on with their run getting at this point of time straight up 
Nobody moved because this is the second six of the current case is over. What a knock from the Namibian captain. Stay deep inside his crease. And current cases attempt or bowling that Yorker completely failing. And this is the 78 6 of the series. This is a must win match for them, mind you. Oh, the sound is again cracking. Flatter this time. The result the same. Third six of this over of Karan Casey and his struggling big time. It's a free hit and JJ Smith batting at 49 of 24. Slashes it. Hard enough. Straight to the fielder, the Vinder Singh ID. But even if it's caught, JJ Smith has completed his 50. What a knock. A captain's, a captain's innings. The skipper has played so well when his team needed him. 83 runs partnership from 47 deliveries. What a partnership it has been for the Namibian side. In fact, it's the Namibian side who are the favorites now. Yes! Catches the call and it's caught. In the very first delivery, Dipendra Singh ID gets this important wicket of JJ Smith. The captain, after getting to his 50, will have to move back to the pavilion. Every one of us would always remember the big lofty eaten. Perfect situation for Dipendra Singh Airi as well because now there's two left-handed batsmen in the crease. Oh, he pulls the very first ball. Where has it gone? On a hat-trick is Dipendra Singh Airi and Lofty Eden has been dismissed in the very first ball. His face taking things way too lightly here, Lofty Eden. It was short all right, but he went after Dipendra Singh Airi in the very first delivery. He cannot believe it. Listen to the crowd, listen to the noise, listen to the roar. Crowd now sensing a match out of it because the Bender Singh ID has taken two in two. This is what I was talking about. Such in a perfect situation for Dipendra Singh ID. So Trumpelman will face the hat trick delivery. He's brought his team back to this match. He wanted to attack the stumps right away, Dipendra Singh ID. Now this has been interesting over. For Avinas Bora, because Dipendra Singh Airi has brought back that momentum. He's applied that pressure to the Namibian side. Go yeah! bold him! Full delivery and he has got the experience free link. Nepal right back into the contest now. Avinas Bora. And the Namibian side, they have lost three wickets in no time. The leg stump has gone for a walk. And Nepal now on top because the experienced Freelink, 37 of 29, very well played by Jan Freelink. Comes round the wicket and this time he has been smacked for a massive six into the VIP box. We hope there is no injury there. Before that flurry of wickets. Reverse it, connects it and a boundary. There's no easy victory for them. Taken on the full this time. And the ball goes through another boundary. This is turning out to be a massive over for the Namibian side. Well, this is going to be an interesting move now. Oh, this time just, just short of that Yorker length. And the ball has been picked up beautifully by Jane Green for a boundary. Only a fraction short. And the placement was exquisite as well. Rhinos taking on the Eagles. Eagles are flying at the moment. Rhinos need the wicket. A bit of unorthodox genius out there. He knew that the third man fielder was inside the 30 yard circle, just playing with the field. Think about in the offside, no th fielders. 30 yard circle in the leg side now. Oh, it's a wide, a very late call. Karan Casey cannot believe it. Drama. Eight runs required. Of two deliveries, Karan Casey. Oh, this is going high up in there. Fielder underneath it and grabs it. Sandeep Jora has taken a wonderful catch. And this over will be remembered for a long, long time. The ball right back into the match. High up underneath that ball easily held that wonderful comeback
and what a way to end the losing streak that Nepal were being hunted by for a long time now at their own home yard. Defender Zingaidi, the man who brought Nepal back into the match. And the crowd absolutely erupting now. And Nepal remain alive in this series. So that's how the points table looks like now. Four, four points for the Netherlands team.